Hello, this is James. Today we have new farming technology brought to us by the power of the tributed. Yami Merrick's new exclusive skill from the event. When you successfully tribute summon the Winged Dragon of Raw, its attack becomes the sum of the attack of the tributed monsters, and the defense becomes the sum of their defense. I feel that this is best used in the context of a farming deck, and this is a, is a nice general purpose farming deck using magnets. Now why does this work? Uh, this works because magnets have a lot of special summoning and a lot of deck thinning. Delta the Magnet Warrior, when you normal summon him, he, he sends magnets to the graveyard. Let's, let's take that out. T sends magnets to the graveyard and you can downbeat him for a beta, which does is, is more of the same, so you're thinning out your deck, you're thinning out your deck, and you're special summoning these big monsters that can be tributed for your Winged Dragon of Rock. And what I love about this deck is, so previously we had the, the Catapult Turtle deck, which is still my favorite because it can be used on any character, but I really like this one because there's only three combo pieces. Uh, Winged Dragon of Raw, Magic Arrows, and the Fairy Meteor Crush for piercing damage, and the rest of it is all stall. You just stall out using your Magnet Warriors and, and your Downbeat. Uh, downbeat is necessary to get out your Beta, the Electro Magnet Warrior. And once you have three Magnet Warriors, three non-Delta Magnet Warriors in your deck, in your graveyard, you can use the effect of Delta the Magnet Warrior. Uh, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can banish level 3 or 3 level 4 lower Magnet Warrior monsters from the graveyard except Delta. Special summon 1 Valk. Uh, once you get this big beefy monster out on the field, farm is pretty much done. You just need to wait to get your second Valk. And then at the end, you can special summon your Gaia Plate the Earth Giant. Now, substitution, and then uh, you tribute those three monsters. Winged Dragon of Raw, Power of the Tributed takes effect. If you have these three guys out, then Raw's attack becomes 9,800, and then you can pay whatever life points you have remaining to get over 10,000 attack for your Winged Dragon of Raw. You pump him with the Fairy Meteor Crush, and you anti-magic arrows, and you're done. And it works on a wide range of farming of legendary duelists. So it works on Yami Yugi, uh, not Joey, because he has a bunch, not Joey and Keith, because they have a bunch of, a bunch of like coin flip effects, but we have the Tethys Slifer deck for that. Um, but yeah, Mokuba, Teya, Yami Yugi, I want to say Bones, all kinds of, of legendary duelists. Uh, those, are the, those are the ones I've tried out, but I'm sure that there's more. So, for substituting Gaia Plate the Earth Giant, you can use any special summon monster. You do not need Gaia Plate the Earth Giant. Um, using, using him, it just makes it easier, because with 2800 attack, that attack gets added directly to Ra, and that makes it easier to get over 10,000 damage. But in order to use this deck and potentially have the over 5,000 damage reward bonus, you can use any inherent special summon monster. Uh, it's favorites, monsters. Okay, so Dynatherium from the rewards tickets. Uh, Small Striker is another ultra rare. That doesn't count. Uh, Fiend Mega Cyber, yes. But all right, Ant Eater Eating Ant. This is a special summon uh, from the super rare rewards tickets. Uh, you set two of your extra downbeats, and then you, you send them to the graveyard, and then you get out your anti to reading ant. Or Escher, oh, also Card Breaker. Card Breaker, you set a downbeat, and you can special summon him. Or Escher, the Frost Vassal. Most of the time, the Legendary Duelists, they have two or more cards in their spell and trap zone, so you can just special summon Escher, the Frost Vassal, for free. But the higher the attack, of your special summon monster, the, the more likely you're able to get maximum score. All right. Uh, yeah, let's save that. And for for PvP purposes, you can drop Ra into... 
talking about this. You can drop raw into any any consistent strong deck. You use Yam, you use Yami Merrick. Yeah, Yami Merrick, uh, and you use a consistent strong deck that has a lot of deck thinning and a lot of special summoning. So, for example, this deck, uh, this is Hazy Flame with with Ra, and then I was I was messing around with some Arrival Rivals and different Dimension Capsule. But use your standard Hazy Flame deck, and then just drop Ra in, and and then Ra is just a is just a fun bonus. Uh, if you get to if you get your three monsters out and you have your Ra and you have, and you can win that way, uh, then you can style on your opponent. And if not, you still have a usable deck for PvP. Uh, this one, this one's more complete. This is Cyber Angels with Ra. Cyber Angels with Ra is great because you're playing Cyber Angels. This is a very dominant deck. And then you just have Ra in there as a fun bonus. Okay, let's do some farms. Let's do a couple farms. And I'm going to start with Mokuba because he has a lot of cards that I, that I don't have and that I want. Like all the dragon cards, so that I can make a Heretics deck. So, like, look at this. Your cards. Uh, I have zero Frost and Flames Dragon. I need another Dark Flare. I need. I need this. This is a good. This is a good card for Heretics. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's farm some Mokuba. And this isn't. This is an easy deck to use. Uh, you don't have to keep track of much except for the Magnet Warriors in your graveyard. Mokuba Kaiba versus Yami Merrick. Let us be. Alright, we're going first. That's good, we get to set stuff. And we open with a bunch of combo cards. I choose to set nothing. Alright, he plays a face down. That's probably his Kaiba man. Okay, good. Alright, so we need him to kill our. Our weaker electromagnet, our weaker magnet warriors, so that we can have them in the graveyard, so that we can uh, have Delta primed and ready to special summon the Valkyrian. And this is looking very good. Okay, so we're going to have two in the grave. Oh, there's the blue eyes. All right, whatever, that's fine. Birthright gives him back his that dragon. Okay. Now we're gonna go. Okay, so th <laughs> uh, so this wouldn't work, but we lucked out and drew a downbeat uh, because if we just normal summoned our Delta, yes, Valk would be prime, but he can kill it and us with the Blue Eyes attack. But we have a downbeat, so we can morph. Uh, okay, so we're gonna send not you, you to the grave. Okay, Valk is ready. We're going to downbeat our our delta and we're going to activate the effect of beta and we're going to activate the effect of delta so uh, we used downbeat to send delta to the graveyard and now we get to banish these guys for our valk and we get out our beta uh, we're going to set him in defense position just because I'm paranoid. Still have memories of Econ Take, and we're going to add a Delta. And we're going to end our turn. Now he's going to go for the Beta, the Electromagnet Warrior. We're going to pop Beta's effect, and we're going to. Wait, special summon. Yeah. We're going to special summon our Delta. In defense position. This is the reason it worked with, and we are going to activate Delta's effect because more thinning, thinning is winning. I'm going to send you to the grave. And he destroys the Delta because it was safe to do so. Yeah, because we didn't have enough Magnet Warriors in the grave. We didn't have enough non-Delta Magnet Warriors in the grave. Okay, so we're just going to sit on that for a little bit. And then... Nope, that's... Nope. Right, end our turn. And... Okay, good. Good. Okay, this is a Gamma. We're going to set that. 
because we don't have um, enough life points to take a uh, a delta attack, an attack on the delta. So we just need to trick him into destroying it for us. Okay, so there's our raw, and then so we're gonna set delta face down, and he's gonna destroy it with blue eyes, and then that's that, and then we're gonna get bell. Uh, yes. Banish, banish, banish. There's our Valk. Defense position. Because the, well, besides my uh, unfounded fears of an econ takes from AIs, uh, 3850 is just a bigger number than 3500. Um, another thing we could do is we could just discard. We could just keep all our all of our cards in our hand and then discard the Delta and then you can you can get Valk out that way. All right, so see if if su suppose that this was a Delta and we had like another Valk in our hands, uh, we, we would discard the Delta and then it would say, "Do you want to summon Valk?" You know, assuming you have the the three uh, three non-Delta Magnet Warriors in your grave. Okay, now so now we're gonna special summon. Remember, any special summon will work. You just need another tribute for Raw. It's just that having high attack points makes it easier when uh, your your life points are low and you're not able to boost raw up as much. Do that, do that, do that. Okay, so power of the tributed gives raw. Uh, it was very quick, but it's 9,800 attack and 8,700 defense, and then we are going to activate the effect. This does not give us comeback victory because comeback victory activates for uh, when your life points are lower at the beginning of the turn. So conceivably you could do something where you summon Ra and then you wait a turn and then you go. Uh, but I haven't tried that yet. And then we're gonna go anti-magic arrows. And okay, so we don't get the 10,000 damage, but we are gonna get over 8,000 score. But you don't need the campaign bonus to get maximum score. You just need to get the 10,000 damage, uh, which is doable as long as you don't lose that many life points. So if, if we had if we had kept 500 life points, we would have gotten over 10,000 damage. All right, campaign bonus. So see, uh, 2,500, 1,500, 1,200, over 5,000 damage. If we had over 10,000 damage, that's an extra 1,200 points. And then without the campaign bonus, we would be at 8,700. Uh, but if we, in the case where we do have the campaign bonus, it would be 9,700. But that's, oh, and we got another uh, Divine Dragon Apocalypse. Okay. All right, let's do another Mokuba so that we can get maximum score. We get our duel. Blah, blah, blah. Duel. Duel, duel, duel. Mokuba Kaiba versus Yami Merrick. Yami Merrick here to ensure that the cycle of brainwashing continues. We are going first. That's good, depending on what we get. So we don't get a bunch of our giant monsters. Oh! Oh! Okay. We can't play downbeat because we have beta in our hand. Uh, so we're just going to set the other beta, the non-electro beta, uh, face down. Defense position. So he's going to lose life points off of... The attack. There's another beta. Uh, we're gonna set you, and then all we need to do is go uh, electro beta into delta. Once he destroys these two uh, non-electro betas with his blue eyes. Blue eyes one. Blue. Eye. Just don't learn Mokuba. Okay. Uh, there's our delta. Yeah, we're going to normal summon our beta. I, I clicked through it and, and didn't get beta's effect to add a delta to my hand. Add a, I think it's just any level 4 magnet warrior. Uh, which I should have done, but it's not it's not mission critical to do that. It just makes the farm go faster. Now you still have plenty of milling without it. Uh, so we're not going to activate that. We're going to go beta, and then we're going to special summon a delta in defense position, and this is not going to give us uh, 
Oh wait, so you're gonna give us that. <laughs> I forget. Okay, so now we have three, and now now Delta is is special and is not and is not to be touched. All right, so let's change him to attack position and reach out and touch somebody. All right, we're gonna crash into the the, the dragon, and now. All right, so, okay, so we banish three, we have one extra, so we have one remaining, and we get out our Valk. And there's very little that anyone can do about a Valk, any legendary duelist. All right, and end our turn. And, okay, so we have one Electromagnet in our grave, or one, one non-Delta Electromagnet Warrior in our grave. Uh, you know, let's end our turn because I don't trust Mokuba to destroy the magnet warriors for me So I'm just gonna have to discard them manually, which is more annoying. Okay, so that's our gamma. That's two Actually gamma is three, but this isn't Rome. All right. There's our number three gamma Actually, no Delta is three. What's gamma? All right, whatever Okay, uh, so there's our there's our third magnet warrior. We're gonna draw this card. Ooh, it's got a plate in end our turn, we're going to discard our Delta, and we can activate his effect. Banish these three. One, two, three. And there's our Val our Valkyrian. And we're gonna put him in defense position. And we're all set. We're, we're completely we're completely done at this point. Uh, nothing to worry about. We just need to draw our cards. There's a beta. And end our turn. There's an alpha. End our turn. Yes, we will discard. And obviously, when you're summoning your Valks, uh, and if you have one in your hand, go for the one that's in your deck first. And downbeat. And turn. Discard downbeat. All right, here's our final turn. Now we special summon our monster, whatever it may be, be it a Dinotherium or a, a different thing. And there's our Gaia Plate. Now we can Tribute Summon for our Winged Dragon of Ra. This is not Union Attack. Your stuff doesn't have to be in attack position, but sometimes I change it because of of habit. The power of the Tributed gives it 9800 attack. Uh, we will activate the effect of Winged Dragon of Raw. And we're gonna Fairy Meteor Crush. Don't equip it onto his monster, equip it onto your monster. Okay, and now we have well over 10,000 damage ready and waiting. Make sure your toggle is set to on or auto. And enter the battle phase. Anti-Magic Arrows. And then attack onto his guy. There, over 10,000 damage. We win. Opponent's LP reduced to zero. Dual victory, LP on the brink. Use balance. Oh, oh, sweet. Okay, now Yami Merrick can be in, used in PvP. Uh, dual victory, cards on the brink. Played Prisma card, 9,900 damage. Uh, spell, special summon, tribute summon, and your divine monster campaign bonus, 1,000, but we don't need it. We have 9,200 score. Without the campaign bonus, it would be 8,200. All right, let's do, I said this is, a, this is an Omni farm. We can't just do the farms with the cards that I feel I need. Let's do some cards that I, that I simply want. And I simply want Taya. <laughs> I it specifically solemn wishes. I need, I need, I need that card. It, it it pops up in weird stuff. Okay, wait, where is it? Where is it? My Valentine. Okay, Taya. Taya level forty. Look at this. I have two Dark Magician girls. I have this. Uh, this doesn't matter. I have three of this, three of this, two of that. Zero of solemn wishes. I want, I want all the cards with breasts on them. Okay. Brilliant Angel Ring. Level 40. 
And the worst that Taya can get is a 2800 attack point. Or no, excuse me. Yeah, because with Freya, the spirit of Vic anyway, the base attack point of Guardian Angel Joan is 2800, and then it doesn't. I think it gets boosted with. Um, I believe it gets boosted with uh, Freya, the spirit of victory. Okay, so here we can we can waste a delta because we have a bunch of them. We have two. All right, so we're going to send. Uh, I always send Alpha, because he has the least amount of attack, and then we're going to downbeat, so this is the waste. We're going to tribute the Delta, we're going to special summon our Beta in attack position. Activate the effect of Beta, the Electromagnet Warrior, yes please. I would like another Delta. This is what makes this okay, since we have, we have our Delta immediately. Alright, end our turn. Okay, silver bow and arrow, chain another card or effect, yes, we will chain Beta the Electromagnet Warrior, uh, and we will special summon we will special summon our Delta, which will give us our third non-Delta Magnet Warrior in the grave. So it's two alphas and an electro beta, and then another delta, and then see, um, Taya doesn't want to mess with that mess, so she's she's leaving delta the electromagnet warrior B, but we are not going to allow to live and let live. We're going to crash the delta, and we will activate his effect in the graveyard. We banish these three, so our counter is now zero. And we have our big, not beefy. What's like a word for beefy that's, that means metal? Chunky. Our big chunky Valkyrian. And now she can do nothing. Uh, okay. I don't like drawing the Valkyrian, but it's fine. We already have him out. No big deal. Now I believe, I think that uh, we're just, we're not going to rely on Taya to destroy because Mokuba, M Mokuba is, is sometimes fearless because of his blue eyes. Right, his attack value is high enough that the AI will risk having the attack position blue eyes um, for the Valkyrian to potentially destroy, even though he's in this deck he's a gentle giant, he doesn't destroy anyone. Uh, but we're not going to rely on Taya to destroy, we are going to just discard the cards, so we have one. Uh, okay, Solemn Wishes, that's fine. Alright, we're going to discard Gamma, that's two. All right, we have our Winged Dragon, uh, end our turn, and we'll discard one of our other downbeats. All right, I need another, I need another warrior. All right, Beta. Yeah. All right, so that's two, and then now that's three. All right, and then the next card that we'll discard will be our Delta. Let me just make sure. <laughs> Uh, okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so now we will end our turn and we will discard our Delta and we will activate his effect in the graveyard. Uh, banish these three and special summon our Valkyrian in defense position and we have plenty of fuel for our Gaia Plate. Okay. Alright, draw a card, end our turn. This is so, this is so simple. Uh, okay, final turn. We special summon our Gaia Plate, banish the two Deltas. Always pick Delta for your Gaia Plate to get in, get in good habits. You don't want to banish uh, your Valk Fuel. And special summoning allows us to tribute summon our Ra using these three rock beasts as sacrifice. Power of the Tributed activates, and just for extra juice, we will give our life points to Ra. We will activate Barry Meteor Crush, 
onto the raw. And make sure your toggle is set to on or auto. We will enter the battle phase, we will activate anti-cheese arrows, and we will attack that, because def that will definitely give us over 10,000 damage and maximum score. So the Valkyrian keeps her locked down, uh, and that's and that's pretty much it. It's just it's just get out Valkyrian and then wait, and then discard and then and then wait some more and then uh, finish. Unlike the uh, ooh oh a third beauty, mm, don't mind if I do. Unlike the uh, catapult turtle deck where you have to where you have to like manage massive morphs and stuff, this uh, as long as you get out your Valk. You can just sit back. So, uh, use this deck for farming skills on your newly acquired Merrick, or just farming in general. Thank you for watching.